Well, joining us on our discussion on the buck stops here tonight, Pavan Verma, advisor, culture and information to the Bihar Chief Minister, Nitish Kumar. We're also being joined by Prakash Javrikar, Rajya Sabha MP and spokesperson for the BJP. We hope to be joined by Dr. Abhishek Manu Singh, we of the Congress in a moment from now. And also KC Singh, former Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs and Coordinator for Counterterrorism. Pavan Verma, let me begin with you, your cultural advisor to the Bihar Chief Minister. We're talking here about a UNESCO World Heritage Site a national heritage. We're talking about one of the holiest sites for Buddhists all around the world. There were intelligence inputs, Mr. Verma. Just why was security at the complex so lax that people could enter and place not one but ten explosive devices? You know, Ankita, Mr. Nitish Kumar has expressed his deep anguish. It is an exceptionally, exceptionally unfortunate incident. But I just want to place things, if you will allow, in a little background. You see, the Nitish Kumar government has worked very hard over the last almost eight years to create an atmosphere of peace and harmony for all religious faiths. There has been no terror attack in these eight years. There has been communal peace. Law and order has been established. Even the perpetrators of the Bhagalpur riots were uh, tried and put in jail. Criminals have been put aside. And this is especially important, Ankita, for Bihar. Because Bihar is the confluence of all religions. Whether it's Patna Sai, whether it's sir, Parapur, and we the take Samadhi your point. Mahavi, we, we take your point in its entirety. Yes. But in, in this no, specific instance. Therefore, yes. That's what I'm just coming to that. Now, in this particular incident, you are saying that there was uh, an intelligence uh, tip off. It's a possibility. It does not mean that it was not acted upon. Mr. Nitish Kumar has said that every fact will be investigated. If the security drill has to be tightened, further tightened, it will be. The matter will be thoroughly investigated. And as far as possible, the culprits will be brought to book and given but the harshest the titan, possible sir, punishment. Now, now, he was now, among sir, the first to reported, reach the site if, today. I, if I may just make a quick point over here, sir. Temple security, it seems, was reviewed just three days ago and was found to be extremely inadequate at the complex. Given that, why was security not enhanced? Why was it, in fact, left up to the Temple Trust to secure the complex? No, there was a security drill held just a few days ago. And I can say to you that there is no absolute guarantee against terrorist attacks. And given the past history of this government in preventing any such incident from happening, I would say that until the facts are fully investigated, let us not jump to hasty conclusion. That's point number one. But Ankita, I want to make another point. I think it's exceptionally unfortunate that even more important than how disturbing this incident was, it seemed to us that there were some political parties for whom the only concern was to score quick political brownie points. Instead of even expressing anguish about this incident, all they saw in it was an opportunity to create a political scoring point. <coughs> this is an exceptionally poor commentary. I think on let's the take that culture. to the BJP. Prakash Javrekar is with us this evening. Um, Mr. Javrekar, respond to this. Are you saying that your recent parting of ways with the JDU has absolutely nothing to do with the way the BJP has re reacted immediately in the aftermath of this terror strike? This is absolutely rubbish what uh, our JDU colleague is saying. Because let me tell you, in the morning when we reacted, language, we say, one minute, we, we said that we condemn the attack, we are one in fighting the terror, and more than that, we said central government or central intelligence uh, is not only a post office, we should send the intelligence input because that has to be acted upon by the state government as well as by the central government. So but sir, both we have heard your party minute. today attack the central government as well as the state government. Who do you think is at fault here? I, both. But what is more uh, worrisome is, let me put it in perspective. We are already fighting four kinds of terror. A cross-border terrorism, northeastern insurgency, nuxal terror, and the fourth one is the homegrown terror. And in, in, and in all, first. this is a new dimension. Today, what we are seeing and the way, uh, if it has any links with the Myanmar things, it's a serious new dimension to the whole terror scenario of the country.